one of the things that we know about NEO is that when it comes to technology, no EV car maker or no car maker globally can come close to the kind of technology we see onto the NEO cars. I mean, the NEO CEO, there is a video just just surfaced the streets of social media where he's talking about, look, he acknowledged Porsche, he acknowledged BMW, he acknowledged Audi. I mean, he said NEO did not copy anyone. Talking about or talking to those German luxury brands, NEO is unique. NEO is not plagiarizing anything. They are just doing their own thing. Whatever they've done on their cars, it's something that is originated by NEO, right? In terms of design, in terms of technology, NEO is not copying anything. And I think this comes um, at a stage, or it comes, or we started hearing these kind of things when Mercedes, of course, three weeks ago, started saying that they are going to introduce Step by Wire. Step by Wire came with NEO, or NEO is the first company to mass produce vehicles with Step by Wire, which is always good and it shows you the uniqueness that comes with NEO. Yesterday, we were talking about the coalition beam and all the, all the other safety features. NEO is a company that is unique and this is something that makes me to load the boat because NEO is a company that is not copying everyone. It's a company that is putting work in the background, spending money onto R&Ds and making sure that they've got some pretty good features. But what is it that we are seeing from the market is that obviously these other premium brands are seeing what NEO is doing and I can tell you now, wherever they are, they are not comfortable because they don't know what's NEO's next move, right? And NEO CEO coming to boldly say this is that, look, we, you can take our technology or you can copy our technology, but just know that obviously we don't, we, we, we don't take someone else's technology. We don't plagiarize. <laughs> so it, the message is loud and clear to say that, look, NEO, whatever they are doing, it was originated or it originated from them. It's not coming from any place else. And this is something that is very, very good. And it makes me to like Neo so much. I mean, one of the things that we have discussed over the years when you look into Neo, it's of course what they've achieved, especially when looking at their cars, the 89. I mean, it's so crazy, man. The, the capabilities uh, of what that car can do is just out of this world. And those that, of course, have not seen this uh, technology, these massive features that comes with uh, that model, I, I still urge you to go and, uh, of course, have a look at what Neo has, has, has demonstrated or has achieved with that model. This is something that is making the Neo CEO to say that they, they did not plagiarize. And I mean, have a look at also the um, after-sales service technology like battery swapping station. Neo, uh, Neo has been successfully deploying this technology and now you've got companies like CATL um, coming to wanting to deploy or also becoming wanting to aggressively or also wanting to aggressively deploy these battery shopping stations because they see they, they, they is a this infrastructure has got a massive potential in the future. Not only for the users but for the Chinese government which is why the government will push Neo to do whatever they can to make sure that they increase their battery swapping stations in China because they are like your power bank battery hotel as some would call them and because of this <laughs> this just it's one of another technology that these other uh, luxury brands are just eyeing looking if obviously they can uh, do something better or at least join Neo or produce their own battery swapping stations which is it going to happen I'm not sure but where Neo is at right now, I think it's difficult to want to compete compete with them because they've been deploying battery shopping stations since like what 2018, and you cannot compete with a company that has been doing the same thing for almost eight, seven eight years, which puts Neo at a competitive advantage. So it was really interesting to see that video of the Neo CEO coming to say, look. He acknowledges the other premium brands, BBA, but one thing you can say about his company or our company, Neo, is that they, we are not, they are not trying to copy anyone. They are just doing things 
that of course they are they are trying to find new ways they are trying to break uh, grounds on technology and i think this will make other the other bbas of course to take cognizance of this and try to see if some of the things that they've been doing to try to copy or to try to use the same technology features like the ones that neo is using they will ease down a bit and and try their best to make sure that they don't copy everything that neo is doing but anyways i'm not saying bmw mercedes are complete completely but all i know is that step by wire started with neo now it's going to mercedes all i know is that active suspension started with the neo and now companies like porsche are going to introduce or are introducing the active suspension into some of their models we know that this originated from neo or neo was the first ev company to successfully deploy these technological features and seeing these companies or these other companies now coming and doing what neo has achieved or implementing also it speaks volumes about where neo is as a company it speaks volumes about of where neo is headed because if there's one thing that of course makes me to remain long and strong onto Neo, it is their technology, it is what they are doing onto their cars, it is their after sale services. This is just the next level. And I don't think even if these companies or other companies try, they won't get to the level that Neo is at because Neo, you are talking about active suspension now. I can tell you now they are already talking about something completely different. I can tell you now they are going to even advance further which is why i said or i keep on telling you that if you are amazed at the kind of technological features the kind of safety measures or features in your cars can you imagine where you will be at in the next three years it's just going to be so amazing what we see now or what we are seeing onto neo cars right now it's nothing compared to what we are still going to see in three years and these car makers or some of these premium car makers coming to uh, maybe take or use or maybe imitate news technologies it is they, are not, they, they won't really be on par with the kind of technology that we see coming from from neo but they will they can try but they will never meet or match the neo standards so blue sky is coming long term will win just thought i come and give you this quick update those that are persevering will most definitely be rewarded with time take me some time to make these videos and all i ask from you is to give it a thumbs up so that at least you get notified by youtube every time i drop a new content tell me what you think i'm going to play that video for you and now at the end of this um, video i'll see you on the next one my dear friends and god bless you all